Samus. But this was a very hard matchup for John. Last time we saw this on Winner's Side. Yeah. We'll see but if he comes at this with a new mentality. John, a player who definitely uh, tries to come back stronger. Um, it, John, John's adaptation is really interesting uh, for like how. So he's like he is stubborn in like mid set. Uh, he like he does have like adaptation, but like his post set adaptation, like his runbacks are kind of nuts. Um, I would say he is the king of runbacks in tri states. Possibly. Like I would not want to go up against John when he's on loser's side. Yeah. Like, Ooh. Ooh, I don't think I want to go, go up against the Samus either. It's very funny. Oh, don't donate that to John there, Fawn. Oh man, the Wi-Fi brain rod is real. Now John taking that first stock. All right, got some easy combos there. Jeez, the fair into the fair. Set up with the power bomb. Up tilt. There we go. Covers a lot there. All right. Neutral air once more. And the fair just goes out so far and lasts so long. John going off stage once more. Vaughn trying to anticipate something. A turnaround grab. John knowing how antsy Fawn is getting is just taking advantage. Don't really know where that up air was gonna go. This could be curtains. No. Fawn trying to get another spike there, but not gonna happen. But a screw attack out of shield. It's putting John away off ledge. Forward tilt, double forward tilt, but just a little too low there to connect the second one. Dash tag again. Max, Rage, Samus. Don't make a mistake. Ooh. I sent it the funny angle, but from across the stage, still not gonna kill. And this is something that Icy Mist likes to do as well. Get that neutral air back on stage from just like a detach. All right, setting up high. What good trap there. Not gonna be enough to kill. But John, the neutral air into the up smash, 50% is nuts. Yeah, what Fawn was doing that first set on winter side, it's not gonna be working here. Fawn's gonna have to readapt. Oh, thank you, Soccer Ball. Talk about saving Fawn's life. <laughs> John just had a laugh at that. I mean, like, okay, you know, it went through the Soccer Ball. It killed me at 170. It's fine. But you know, I'm not gonna discount this. I'm not gonna discount Fawn here. Samus can rack up some mean damage. Oh, whoa! Just the tip of that up there. Try to get the Zare. Missed the tether grab. Oh no. Pressuring on stage. Yep, no up smash. We do have a super missile. I mean, this coverage from Fawn, relentless. I would say John's up air is just uh, slightly, slightly longer than Fawn's down air. Oh no. Yeah, we, we all saw that soccer ball going in for the kill, but that back air finally going to secure the game. Both of these players, uh, like, non-reacting to, to that game. We might as well be still in-game. Uh, I mean, listen, I think that was just kind of the download sets. To be, so Fawn needed to see how John is going to readapt to this. Yeah. John needed to see if Fawn was going to pull out some more tricks or if they were going to try something new. But it looks like Fawn is now going to be the one having to readapt to John's ad adaptation. Yeah, John definitely came into that first game with like the his redemption game style uh, for like what what he did wrong uh, in the previous set, um, and it, that, it's really interesting just because like that winner's final set, no, the winner's semi set. Yeah, it was, was definitive. Not close. Yeah, definitive. It's a great way to put it. Um, <laughs> like like every time I see Fawn 2-0 John and Zeno, I'm like, this is it. 
Fawn has finally got John's number. Oh, oh my, my god. god, you can low profile the dash? I'm curious if that. Oh, that's really There funny, you go. The no, Fawn was he angry. Jump, he kept to jump. I'm curious if that down. Uh, if holding down. Uh, works the other way as well. With her, fi with her, uh, oh, head. her head facing Samus. Ooh, I would like to know that. Yeah. John would know. We John can ask John. Would know. That John would know, and he would position himself, uh, like feet towards to to make sure. Hey, okay, there we go. Sliding forward tilt. Azair just hitting the soccer ball. No up tilt on stage. We're not gonna get a spike there. We're gonna charge that almost all the way. Double power bomb. Get that soccer ball out of there and punch the re grab. All right. Uh. Taking the first stock is really important, especially with this extension. Um, Ooh. I, I really do appreciate the, the charge pump, uh, but yeah, it just wasn't as tight of a timing um, that like the window that you were you had it was too tight for for that to like extend or like play a, an offbeat, you know? Yeah, in that rhythm. But you know. She was up one stock. You might as well try and go for some good damage. Uh, yeah. Uh, and once you're at 158, yeah, come on. Everything's yeah. going to kill. I, I would say that, like, when you take a stock, when you're at kill percent, um, it's really important to solidify, like, 30 to 60 damage uh, of, quote-unquote, extra credit, but really just, like, solidifying the lead so that when you ultimately do lose your stock, you're coming back with a lead so that you can, like, instead of you coming back with invincibility to gain the lead, you're now able to, like, really push on it. Mm -hmm. oh, we're seeing it now. No more jab checks here from Vaughn. Instead, we're seeing a lot more offstage game plan. These up tilts coming out very well. It's got larger range than people think, so really it covers John's jump. It covers his let go of ledge. So if he's going to try and just do a header on offstage, hey, it's up tilt. This is big. Going for the double spike, doesn't get it. John keeping his jump. Okay, it's not as much extra credit as we want. Oh, all right, we're setting up a high power bomb here. That neutral air is topping the charge shot once more. Uh oh, going high. Nice jab check into the down air. Trying to go for another early spike. Th those are funny because like those are kind of like kind of gimmicky uh, thing, gimmicky like flows. There's there's nothing wrong in going for it because like you know just like anything, like, it's just it's just a little bit of set play where you're just like I'm gonna do this route, uh, and if you haven't seen it or you're just not ready for it, like you can pay dividends. Um, uh, and even if it, it doesn't is, spike, it'll do damage. Yeah, uh, it, it is really funny um, because like. Fun to do that in, in earlier in the set, earlier in this game, I'm pretty sure. Mm. And so like just kind of treating that entire sequence as like uh, like a move. Which is really good because especially um, if Ooh. even if it doesn't work, uh, if you like Yomi Zero, like, you know, like don't you don't think about it and like you go for it like as it's a move, then sometimes that can really throw someone off being like, well, they spaced it that way before. They'll do it differently. And then like, no, 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 they won't. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and you could die. Oh, missed the grab. That could be it. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, that grab is so strong. But if you miss it, that's a big punish. Exactly. Oh, my God. Still not going to be enough. If I'm going to have to challenge John. I love that. Just run off charge beam. Hey, that's the game. <laughs> How does John feel about that? The mid set pop off. I love that. Oh, that was really good. That's now that's the that's the replay that we need. That's right. They thought about it, and then they're like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I feel good." Listen, when when you're on the verge of like winning a second set against somebody that you're, you know, you've lost uh, about 300 sets to. On, yeah, I'd pop off too. On John's birthday, no less. Oh yeah! Happy birthday, John! <laughs> Eat this! That's so funny. Um, Imagine not getting first place on your birthday. Imagine losing a Samus on your birthday. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, a great adaptation by Vaughn. 
in in that counter pick, bringing it to game three. Um, I, it's really interesting because like those are still like kind of like red herring sort of like hits, right? It's just like oh you didn't see it coming, uh, and but like once you do it, you kind of show your hand. It just depends how much pressure you can apply, where you can try and keep that like on the table, uh, like, just throwing it out. Because once you've done that, like, you basically uh, say, like, okay, I'm going to respect that space so that doesn't happen again, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, what can Fawn and Samus do while they're respecting that space to still be somewhat as effective uh, to, like, keep that pressure going and just like give your opponent that sense of helplessness. And that's, oh my god, jab one into trying to jab two, but getting grabbed is so funny and such a Samus thing. Oh my god, John actually doing a lot better with this uh, low profiling, I like it. Learning that, hey, yeah, I can low profile the dash attack, but I can also low, pile the, low profile the forward air. That was huge. You gotta remember that Wii Fit has an extremely long ledge roll. Uh, I like the idea of putting the power bomb, it's very, oh. uh, all right, so we fit cannot low profile when she is facing Samus. Oh, you noticed? Yep, oh, noticed. fantastic! You're awesome. welcome. Great job. Uh, yeah. So now we know that like, if we fit wants to avoid getting hit by Samus dash tech, she has to be ducking facing away, which is so oddly specific. Nice rare bear. Rar bear. Here almost, we go. Almost. Nice up tilt. Oh, still not gonna be enough. <clears throat> John dodging through it. Okay. And avoiding the fair. Jesus. Yeah, fun. Oh, okay, there we go. I don't... Might be enough. Wow. Oh, okay. it is. Yeah, that actually wasn't even that close. All right, cool. Um, you got a lot of work ahead of you with being at 130. But, you know, being a character that, like, has a pretty strong spike and being at max rage does... There is a realm of possibility, and we're seeing it. There is a realm of possibility where, like, Fawn can turn this into a lead. Thank you, Josh the One, for the subscription. If you guys are enjoying the production, uh, you know, the replays and all that good stuff, consider a sub. Uh, if you want to support your New York locals, consider a sub. Did you say if you want to support your neutral? Neutral and your locals, yeah. Yes, of <gasps> course. <gasps> the Whoa. ball double teaming. Oh my god, this is unfair. And not the fun fair kind. Oh, wow. <laughs> fun. Losing their mind <laughs> as for a moment. <laughs> They're like, really? The forward tilt? Really taking 30% off the sun. Trying to get the jab into the downer. Not quite, but actually batting the ball away with the bear. Oh, oh, trying to go for the forward smash. Yes, recognizing that John was low profiling there, but you know, John just jumping out of the way in time. Yeah, I like uh, empty landing uh, tomahawks as Samus can be really good because of like. Because of how floaty she is. Oh my, oh my God. lord. The low forward, forward tilt. tilt. Downward angle, sending Dawn straight into the blast zone. Okay, I don't know. Like, this is actually kind of spooky because uh, we literally saw this exact kind of situation. Oh, oh my mind. God, the soccer ball! You're kidding! No! You're kidding! Happy birthday <laughs> to <laughs> you! Happy birthday <laughs> to you! Happy birthday, dear John! Happy birthday to you! God and a win in grands. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, and then we get some Metroid music. I love that. <laughs> it's a very melancholy game over Metroid music.